In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove evil arrow or evil spell using one single natural ingredient. If it's something you are interested in, then let's get into it. Okay, you are welcome back. We are going to be using lime, just one lime to remove evil arrow or evil spell or what you call evil causes. If you don't really understand what evil arrow is, in my language, we call it offer. Offer and offer means arrow. But this one is a spiritual arrow. So you can call it a spiritual arrow or you can call it evil arrow or evil spell or evil cost that has been placed on you. You can remove this using this simple but very effective ingredient called lime. And lime, I'm talking about lime, not lemon. The ingredients we are going to be needing, the major ingredient we are going to be needing is lime. 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 This is my lime. Lime orange. Though this one is a little bit uh, small, you need a fairly big one. This is my lime. Lime. I'm still going to, I'm still going to link that up here so that you can see the you can see it properly lime is not the only ingredient we are going to be using for this recipe we are going to be needing salt and in this case any type of salt we do you can use sea salt you can use malayan salt you can use the pink salt you can use whatever salt you can get but preferably just get a normal cooking salt, the one you use in cooking your dishes. Just get a normal cooking salt and that will do. But if you cannot get that, any salt that you can get, then you can go ahead to use it. And the third thing we are going to be needing for this spiritual uh, recipe is hot water. Hot water. If you have these three, then you are good to go. So, how do you prepare it? Preparing this is very uh, simple and straightforward. One, you need to cut this, the lime orange. You need to cut it. You first cut it into two like this. Cut it into two. Just cut it into two. Then, you go ahead to now cut it further. You can see, I have, I have cut it into pieces for those we can see very well i have cut it into pieces you can see it is in pieces so that is the first step the second step is after cutting it you get ah uh, your white glass plate or bowl white glass bowl glass bowl preferably but if you cannot get a glass bowl then you can get a metal bowl a metal bowl this is what i'm using right now you can see it is a metal bowl this is what i'm using and this is how it is it's a metal bowl so i'll pack my uh, lime into into it my lime is there this is my lime in it i've already packed my lime in it so the next step is to add the hot water hot water you had the hot water had add water you can see it is hot water had hot water add so add mush because you had mush so after adding the hot water then you had your salt you had your salt just three scoop of the salt unfortunately 
I cannot lay my hand on my sword here. I'll just add salt. Just take three and four. One. Don't use spoon. Please don't use spoon. Use your hand like this. Just scoop some. Put. Scoop another one. Put. Scoop the third one. Put. So three times like that. The job is half done once you've added the salt. So how do you use it? How do you use that is the third step how to use it? You have to after adding all the ingredients, the three natural ingredients are uh, the lime, the salt and the hot water. And talking about salt, I have done a video previously talking about the salt bath. Salt is a cleanser. This, I cannot stress this enough. Stress, I mean, salt is a cleanser. You use it to cleanse. It cleanses you of negativity. It cleanses you of bad vibrations, bad vibes around you. If you notice bad, bad vibes around you, then salt readily comes to your aid. I'm not going to be discussing that. I have done a video and I'm going to link that up for you so that you see that video. And I'll put it in the description. So check it out. Make sure if you have not done salt bath, spiritual salt bath, you have not done it before, make sure you watch that video. Your spiritual journey starts from there. You have to be doing, you have to incorporate the spiritual salt bath into your spiritual journey. Without that salt bath, you is like you are doing nothing. You have to do that. It's very important. I'm going to be linking it, like I said, in the description. So let's continue how to use it. When you have all the ingredients with the hot water, everything, you have to set it aside. You have to let it stay for three hours or five hours or seven hours as it pleases you three hours five hours or six hours let it stay for that period of time the essence of it staying for that period of time is for the ingredient that's the lime and the salt to infuse very well into each other. Lime, just like the salt, is also a very good cleanser. It is anti-poison. Spiritually, it is anti-poison. And we are using this to clear spiritual arrow or evil arrow, to remove it from our system. So that is why we are using lime. And for those of us who are very close to spirituality, who, on the, who know a little or who know spirituality, you should realize that if you are trying to, you are trying to uh, protect something or you want to preserve an important ingredient, let's say meat or salt or, or, or fish, you had lime and the, 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 you, have li you add lime and salt together, you rub it all over this particular thing that you are trying, trying to preserve. And that thing can stay for a very long time. It doesn't get spoiled. So you can see, if, you can see the little spiritual benefit of lime. And talking about lime, lime, don't, sorry because I'm digressing, but I can't stress enough about lime. Lime is very, very good. Medicinally, almost everybody knows the benefits of lime. Medicinally, or the uh, medicinal value, we know the medicinal value of lime. But spiritually, very few people know the importance, the benefits of lime. So that is why I'm trying to stress a little bit on lime. Lime. Lime is very important, just like salt is also very important. Now, you are combining two powerful natural ingredients together. And these two powerful natural ingredients does nothing done to fight negativity. 
And if you have spiritual arrow or evil arrow or evil curses or evil spell inflicted on you, this will readily clear it. It is simple but very effective. It will just clear it for you. So you allow it to, to, to stay for three hours, for five hours, or for seven hours. So after then, what are you going to be doing with it? You are simply going to be using it to bait. You just take the water from the bowl after it has stayed. At the end of that uh, three hours or five hours or seven hours, go ahead and use it to take your bath. And how do you take it? How do you use it to bath? You are just using it to just shower from head to toe. Why doing that? Just be offering your prayer silently. You don't need to be shouting. Just be offering it and be using it to clean your body in the bed. You don't have to use sponge. You don't need sponge for this. You don't also need soap for this. This is enough. Maybe if you prefer to use your soap, maybe you use your soap and sponge earlier, you rub, you cleanse that off, then you use this water to just take your bait and that is all. So when, when is the best time to do this? The best time to do this, to me, is in the evening. Actually, you can do it anytime. But for me, personally, I prefer in the evening. I prefer in the evening. I'll do it before going to... I'll, I will have prepared it around uh, 6, 5, 6. So, I'll let it rest for like 3 hours or like 5 hours. After taking it, I go, I go, to, I go to bed to sleep. I don't go out again. I do it in the evening. I don't, when I do this, I don't... When I do most of my spiritual, but when I do them, I don't go out again. I don't go out again because I don't want to go and bring another negativity. So I will let it be with me. It will refresh me. It will refresh me while sleeping. It will continue to work while sleeping. So when I wake up, I wake up very energized, very refreshed, and very new. Then positivity will start following me. So I cleanse myself with this. Apart from that, I use it to fight a spiritual arrow or evil arrow or evil spell, or evil cause, anyhow you want to call it. And how often can you do this? You can do this from time to time, preferably two times in a month, at the beginning of a month, and at the end of a month, at the beginning of one month, and at the end of that particular month. For instance, at the beginning of November, then at the end of November. Because you are just washing it, you can start now. If you do it now, you just make sure you do it when the month has come to an end. So, by uh, the first week of December, you do it. Before the end of December, you also do it. But if, you, it, is for, if it is comfortable for you to be doing it every week, it's okay. Because to me, there is no overdose in spirituality. Because it is not diabolic, we are not chanting any incantation. And we are not using anything that is not, we are using natural things. So we are not using anything that is against the will of God. So you can do it every week if that is what you like. It's also very good. It's good. But for busy people who does not have that time, just like me, because I do so many other things, and I will just do it at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month even if i don't i'm not facing any spiritual arrow because spiritual arrow spiritual attack or spiritual uh evil arrow is not something you can see with your bare bare eyes though you can feel it once it's on you you feel it but even if you don't have it there's nothing stopping you from doing this if you can do it it's like you are protecting yourself if it is not there you are saying, I don't want it. And if it is there, you are getting rid of it. So it's better. Anybody can do it. This is very simple. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, you have not subscribed, please subscribe. You see the red button. It is boldly written in red. Subscribe. Just click it. 
you are not paying anybody it is free just click the uh subscribe button then the bell will come out click on the bell too where it is written all just click on all so that when next i release videos you'll be the first to be notified and before i go let me remind you that i will link in the description some of the spiritual items that i use a lot of my subscribers are complaining where they are they cannot get this they cannot get that you can i will link where you can get someone wherever you are in the world you can get all this i'll just link it in the description make sure to, to check the description and you you get it so there is no need to complain there is no need to complain again you i will link some of these spiritual things i use i will link them in the description just go there to to go and check it out just check it out uh look at it and you you you, you will be fine until i come your way again remain spiritually intelligent and don't forget we can actually